All right, howdy. So we're currently on step six, uh, almost halfway. So let's start with um, getting all the parts together. So we'll need the two drive block assemblies. We'll need the chassis from step four. We'll need this guy, which is the supportive block on the end of the y-axis. We'll need this smaller block, which is the smaller block on the end of the x-axis. So, and we'll also need two long metal rods, and then two out of the four, well, no, they're not the shortest, but out of the ones that you should have left, two of the short metal rods out of the four. The four should be the exact same length. So if the X it, or it's, is the shorter rod, and so the first step in this is to put these right in. Um, if they're a little bit snug, uh, you can use maybe um, a handle from a tool or something like that to help push. Uh, it should be to where you can just push them in by hand, but you never know. Uh, there can be some variation. Now, uh, after you do those guys, take the longer assembly, thread it on. So again, get the Guide rod started. And just screw by hand. And then one little trick is pull it against the. Uh, so basically, so screw it in until it's about halfway before you start hitting the next set of threads and then push a little bit to flex the ribs of the backlash compensation and then keep going. That's it. That should set you up for a really nice tension and backlash mechanism which will help basically keep it from flexing too much. Uh, if you just thread it straight through there may, may not be enough support and you might see a little bit of uh, basically loss in distance on short moves. And then carefully, oops, sorry, uh, in this orientation, like so, carefully work this block on. Now, this may take a little bit of force. Uh, it's purposely snug. Just push it in until it lines up with the tabs in the chassis wall. And that should be it. Okay, and then finish that assembly out. Two screws right here, just the standard screws. And again, once you feel it's snug, don't over tighten. This is plastic, it will wear out. Same thing on the other axis. So two rods. Now, when you're inserting these rods, be really careful of the one that has the limit switch near it. Don't uh, whack the limit plunger 
too hard inadvertently. This one's a little bit snugger. More snug. Better. Okay, and then so get your rods in. You've got your drive block, uh, the part where the cutout and the tab face in. And then Get your rods started. So slide your Again, um, tension up your, your anti-backlash, and then drive it forward. And then this is your supportive block, it goes in that orientation. So, so just start feeding it on to the rods, and then you'll probably need to press. It's easier to kind of press against if you push against the motor. And then just push it deep enough where the tabs easily fit to the tabs here on the chassis. And then put two more screws here and here. Again, just snug it in. You don't need to keep going too far past the uh, when it starts having real resistance. Maybe like a quarter turn past where you feel it. That's it for that one. Okay, so we put the drive blocks in place, we put the screws in, and the supportive blocks right here. And that's it. Be sure when you're putting them on, um, thread the drive rod halfway in, and then basically pull it back this way so that it provides tension against the backlash mechanism so that you get your best result. Alright, and on to step seven.